My name is John Freeman or Kenjo, and I welcome you to Ken Tech 16. For today's lesson, we are going to solve questions with respect to data star transformation. Remember, the last time I took you through the concept of data star transformation, and for today's lesson, we want to solve a question on data star transformation. And in the question, we are supposed to determine the load current in a branch EF. So looking at the circuit diagram, we are supposed to calculate the current which is flowing through the 600 ohm resistor. So the current flowing through the branch E and F. So here we have a 100 volt source. So the voltage is 100, which is driving through a current. So when we look at this circuit, we realize that none of the resistors are either connected in series or parallel. If you check resistor 200 ohms and 500 ohms, they are neither in series nor parallel. The same thing happens to resistor 500 ohms and 200 ohms. They are neither connected in series or in parallel. And when you want to also consider the 200 ohms resistor and 600 ohms resistor, they are also not connected either in series nor parallel because for resistors to be connected in series, one end of the other resistor should be connected to other end and for resistors to be connected in parallel the ends of the two resistors must be connected together without any circuit elements in between the resistors so here you realize that there's a junction in between the 200 ohms and 600 ohms resistor so now let's solve this question and calculate the current which is going through this direction which is going through this resistor okay so looking at the question the 500 ohms 200 ohms and this 200 ohms meaning this three resistors takes the formation of a delta and this is how a delta shape looks like and this is a star connected shape so here this three resistors one two three are connected in delta so we can have it as Five hundred ohms two hundred ohms and two hundred ohms. Then what we need to do is we need to convert this data to star. So we can have a star in between these data. Then we calculate for the resistance in the star connected in the star connection. So R1, let's say R1, R2, and R3. So to calculate for R1, R1 will be equal to the product of the opposite resistance, which is 200 times 200 all over 200 plus 200 plus 500 and r1 will be equal to 44.44 then to calculate for r2 r2 will be equal to 200 times 500 all over 200 plus 200 plus 500 and this will be equal to 111.11 all in ohms so this will be equal to 200 times 500 all over 200 plus 200 plus 500 and this will be equal to 111.11 ohm. So it means that we've been able to transform this delta to star. So we can take the delta of within the only the star in here. You have R1 to equal to 
44.44 ohms. Here will be equal to 111.11 ohms. Then R3 also will be equal to 111.11 ohms. So here, now let's replace this delta with the star connected uh, element here. So now we'll be able to transform this delta to a star. So now let's, instead of this delta, let's bring this star here. Okay, so let's take the delta of and replace it with star. We can take this part of the circuit. But remember, this is star connected and it can be drawn as Remember, we said a star can either take a Y or T shape. So this can also be written as this, or can be drawn as this. Whereby here will be equal to 11.11 ohms. 111.11 ohms. Then here will be 4.44 ohms. So when I go back to my circuit, I'm going to have Here will be one 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 point one one ohms. One 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 point one one ohms. Then I will have my four four point four four in series with my Value here, whatever value is here, will be in series with the 44.4 ohms. So when I get to uh, this this part of the circuit, you can clearly see that now some of the resistors are connected in either series or parallel. So we can simplify them. 111.11 ohm would be in series with 600 ohms. So we can add them. Then 4.44 4 will also be in series with 600 ohms. So we can add them. Remember, when resistors are connected in series, we need to add them. So I have the circuit looking like hundred volts. This is one 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 point one one. Now, since four four point four four ohms is in series, is in series with six hundred, we can simply add the four four two, what we call the six hundred, to obtain this one value here. Then. 111.11 will also be in series with 600 ohms. So here we can also add these two resistors to obtain only one value here. So now the circuit will now look very simple as this. Uh, put the values. So here 44.44 4 plus 600 will be 64.4. Six hundred and forty-four point four four ohms. Then one 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 point one one ohm plus six hundred ohms will also produce an answer of seven one 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 point one one ohm. So looking at it, you realize that this is now parallel to this because this one end of this resistor the two ends of the resistors are connected together without any other circuit element so it means that this and this are connected in parallel and when resistors are connected in 
Alright, well this is how we saw it. Over here, seven, one, one. Three, seven, one, one. Seven, one, one. Point one, one is in power with six, four, four, point four, four. So here we can have seven, one, one, point one, one times six. Four four point four four all over seven one one point one one plus six four four point four four. So we're giving an answer of three eight eight ohms. So here means I can clean this part of the circuit and place here with three eight. 8 ohms. So now this circuit is now very simple to solve. So I can find the current which is free through this circuit which is the 3888 ohms. So here to, from ohms law V is equal to IR. So I will be equal to V over R. My voltage source is 100 all over one 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 point one one plus three eight eight giving an answer of zero point two 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 amps so what it means is that the current going through or the current produced by the source voltage is zero point two 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 amps okay so now the question we are supposed to calculate the load current in the branch EF so we want to know the current going through the branch EF. Now we are able to calculate the current produced by the source voltage, which is 100 volts. But please, those with our calculator, you can check the value here. I think it's supposed to be 338. Supposed to be 338. 338. But it will still produce an answer of 0. 2, 2 amps. Now, so to calculate the current which is flowing through the branch EF, we can use what we call the current division to do that. So now the current produced by the source is 0. Point, let's say 2, 2. 0. 0.222. So to use the current divider to calculate the current free to EF. So I EF, which is the current free to this branch, will be equal to 6, 4, 4.44, 4, 4, 4, all over 6, 4.44 4, 4, 4, 4, plus 7.11.11. Multiplying by the source current, which is 0 0.222. So here, my IEF, which is the current for you through this, will be equal to 0 0.1055 amps. So, those of you who are not familiar with the current divider, you can go through my video. There's a video caption current divider, you can quickly go through. So the final answer will be called 0 0.1055 amps. That will be the current which is flowing through the branch EF. And it will be the same current which is flowing through the 600 ohms. Thank you for watching Kentech 96 TV. And please do not forget to recommend the channels to your... And please do not forget to recommend the channel to your course mates. Thank you.